How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing the new isopod project I'm going to be working on. These ones are the larger variety. I finally found a whole bunch of them. And uh, I'm going to start start trying to breed them. Because they'll be good for uh, feeders and general cleanup crew in the bioactive enclosures. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how I set them up and hopefully breed them. Let's get started. First thing you're going to need is a bunch of uh, bark and wood bits like this. This acts as stuff that they can hide under as well as stuff they can eat. And then the substrate for them, we're going to be using the uh, peat moss, coconut core. That's just stuff you expand with water. I'll show you that in a minute. And then of course the slaters themselves. There's a whole bunch in here. They were rolled up. These ones are the type that actually roll up. Quite a bit of variation in them. That one's got lots of nice speckling and stuff on it. Some are more plain and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's what we got. And then of course with that, you then need a decent sized tub that has a decent amount of uh, floor space. So the first thing we're going to do for this setup is get a bunch of the cocoa peat and put it into the tub and then put a bunch of water in and let it expand. Alright, so the water's now been added and it's all expanded and become ready. And uh, here's my first Slater breeding setup with the smaller version. I've got the two here to see the difference. So the one on the right there is the ones I've been breeding already. You can see is like half the size of the other one. The other one's rolled up and it's the size of the first one. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if I can breed these bigger ones. So I'm going to be setting up these two pretty much the same. They both have the coconut peat at the bottom. And then I'm going to put the bark in like I've put it in this one. Where as you can see they hide under. And yeah, I'll set them up the same. Alright, so let's set this up. Next thing we'll do is add the sliders in. That's the setup complete. I might add some leaves and stuff to it, I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, I'll just be feeding them the same as the other ones, which is mostly uh, oat bran, maybe a little bit of vegetables, nothing too crazy, mostly just oat bran. And uh, yeah, wish me luck, I hope it goes well, hope I get some crazy good numbers. And yeah, I'll do an update video on these a couple months down the track. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.